Hey folks, Doc Hansen here with another Good Time Guitar. Um, so what you just heard there is this just lovely uh, 1981 Ovation 1657, which is their anniversary model, the 10th anniversary model. Or it just says the anniversary. Um, anyway, <clears throat> this is a special guild that they made. Um, actually, it's an anniversary model, but they made it, I think, for about three or four, four years. <coughs> As I said, this one was made in 1981. Beautiful guitar. Um, it's got this lovely uh, brown stained uh, Sitka spruce top, beautiful top. Uh, a special rosette with some herringbone um, in here. Let me move that up there. Maybe you can see that a little bit. Uh, these beautiful snowflake um, uh, inlays on the ebony fretboard. A beautiful hand-carved truss rod cover there. Uh, also a car hand-carved uh, bridge um, that you see there. Now the back, um, of course, is the you know, molded ovation back, uh, but this is in dark brown uh, rather than the black that you typically see. Um, so, uh, and this comes with the original brown case. Uh, I've got some photos of that too. The case is actually in pretty good shape considering that a lot of these brown cases from this era are all cracked and chipped and the class latches don't work. There are a few um, chips, breaks in the um, outer K of the case, but all the class work um, and it uh, does a nice job protecting this guitar. Now, a couple things about this guitar <clears throat> to let you know. Oh, and they have these beautiful gold enclosed Schaller tuners on the back. Um, also notice that there are no nicks uh, in the headstock here, uh, which is pretty unusual, honestly, for some of these ovations uh, of this era. Um, I think, uh, I don't know this, this is just a suspicion on my part, but I've bought enough guitars from working musicians. I think this was owned by a working musician who made some modifications to this guitar uh, <clears throat> to make it better for him or her to, uh, to gig with. And the primary change they made in this is they took out the traditional electronics uh, where you used to have a volume and tone knob, and then they put on some kind of fiberglass material here to cover in that hole. I have some photos that show this a little better. Uh, they took out the battery compartment, uh, although left the screw in there for that. Um, and then what they did is they put in a K&K &K Pure Mini in here. Um, so you still have the plug-in for the... Uh, <coughs> pickup right there and I gotta say you know as much as I love Ovation electronics uh, I think it's one of the great things that they've ever done the, the wonderful piezo um, bridge is still here however it's not active you have the three um, pickups from the K&K &K mounted in on underneath the bridge here and it sounds great uh, it sounds great plugged in uh, as most ovations do. The other thing which you just heard is this, I'd say this might be the best sounding acoustic ovation I've ever, I've ever owned. We got wonderful sustain. It's very clear and crisp. Yeah, it's uh, just a really, really beautiful guitar. Um, other than that change with the uh, pickup, uh, this guitar is in really good shape. Uh, neck is great. Uh, there's plenty of uh, truss rod works great. Um, there are the, uh, you know, Ovation often puts those um, spacers in the bridge. So there's three of those in there. So if you need to pull it down a little bit, you can easily do that by just taking out some of those um, fillers in there. Um, oh, and also it has this really nice uh, herringbone edging. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, I have some photos of that as well. It makes it kind of distinctive. So anyway, there you go. A 1981 10th or anniversary edition 
1657 ovation. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Check it out. Thanks. Bye-bye.